Hello and welcome to episode number 16 of this Let's Play Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And today I'm going to be the bearer of bad news. Yes, very bad news. I've tried for maybe combined of 20 hours to get this to work. It, it, it is hopeless. I've gotten, I have gotten many uh, great uh, suggestions in the comment section. And uh, yeah, um... Some people suggest that we should have more people. I've tried that. It doesn't work. And uh, I'll uh, show you the um, the main problem we have. And it is fairly simple. So, if we take a little dot here. Place a little dot here. A little dot here. Actually, let's bring it a little bit so we can kind of follow the road a little bit. Like so. And let's say we would like to go all the way up to the clothing factory, for example. Because that is kind of where our income comes from. And you see already we are up to 2,000 meters. And uh, since our income is coming from here, let's go down here. So, 2,500 meters. That is... that's a long way. And uh, <clears throat> if we go in here and have a look at the prices of, uh, let's say, fuel, because that is kind of what they're using to... Um, to, um, to get up. It is substantial, uh, the increasement we have had. We have had so many. Um, let's see here. I thought we had one more here. Let's see, maybe it's here. Citizens in slow. Nah. But yeah, we have had so many random events that have spiked up the price of fuel or oil. And the way that works is if we look at, let's go back to the fuel prices again. And you see this trend here. That is actually not, uh, let's see here. So if we go and find oil, oil, where are you at? Next page, there we go, oil. So you see it's actually the same. So the oil prices do affect uh, both fuel, uh, they do affect uh, bitumen, <laughs> Where is bitumen? 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 There we go. So it affects bitumen, and what else do we use oil in? Chemicals? Huh. Chemicals is on page one. Chemicals. It's not the same, but you can kind of see the spikes are at the same place. That's kind of where uh, the oil and uh, big oil events went in, and it kind of is same here and that is going to result in us using let's say this month and let's lock it here and let's go to our import so we have already used 1448 rubles this year and it's only day seven so let's go back a month eight thousand let's go back another month four thousand six thousand four thousand four thousand uh, 3,000, 7,000, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is not, it's not sustainable. The Republic is absolutely doomed, uh, to failure. And I have tried so many times, or so many hours, trying to get this to work. I basically, so, what I try to do, I kind of stopped, um, the fabric clothing here and just focused on the clothing industry because that means we are going to be able to supply enough if we only use fabric clothing and fill this one up we're not going to be able to supply enough uh, crops or um, chemicals to the situation here so the best means is actually just focusing on uh, only the fabric factory. 
And uh, that is um, that is not enough. Even if we have the truck, even if we put enough people here that they produce enough fabric to when the truck kind of goes all the way down here, sell uh, the clothing and then come back up and just instant refill and go down, it's still not going to be enough because of the fuel prices. So what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> and you may hate me for this, but I think a restart is in the cards. So, um, yeah. I have also kind of made a little bit of a plan, and, and we're going to kind of rush through the starting area here, uh, uh, the starting, if we do the restart. We're going to set up a tiny little town here. And that is definitely going to be uh, slowing our, uh, or, or reduce our fuel costs, because we don't only have to go up here. Uh, we're going to have to do quite a bit of terraforming. Now, I have been thinking maybe we could make this like a two-platformed type city. So we'll flatten out this area here. And this area here. We'll make an industrial area here. And then we'll have the town up here. And I'm still thinking that we might use... Hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be planning for restart. That is basically what we're going to be doing today. So, uh, but yeah, we, we're going to need sewage to come out somewhere. And um, let's see what kind of space we have to operate with. I still believe that this area is the best. Uh, we could have gone... Uh, up here. There is some flat territory up here as well. There we go. But there is some flat territory here we can flatten out. And there is some flat territory here we could flatten out. And here. So this has potentially the best flat area that we could have utilized. But again, if we, if we go back here and have a look... It still is... They still have to drive quite a bit to get to this flattened terrain here. And same here, we could have set up like a little town. And maybe have our industry up here, that could have worked. But what I think we'll do... I like this area. Uh, my heart is in uh, Beroshov. Beroshov. Of, yeah, whatever you like to pronounce it as. So, we'll set up a tiny town here. With a... Um, with a... Uh, let's get the um, topographical view on. So, we'll probably flatten out this area. So, we'll have a warehouse with a clothing factory and a... And a tiny little heating plant. Yeah. But a tiny little heating plant here. And then we'll have the sewage coming out here. And then we'll need to figure out how far up do we want this. So I would imagine somewhere up here is kind of where we're going to have our residential area. So that means... We could do that, or we could... Try to make a road go up here and flatten this area out, but that is going to take quite a bit of time. So, uh, so yeah, new plan. We'll just call this a simulation. Um, failed simulation, so, um, yeah. Although I, I really do like how it looks, the city, but, but I, 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 I don't see any way of making this work. So, uh, so yeah, we'll... Uh, make a uh, weird episode today where we're going to be kind of flattening out some of the terrain here the terrain yeah the terrain here and then we'll build a new city and the people of uh, Berushov will not be implemented into our city yet so we'll just uh, <clears throat> go and hunt down the, the local population and um and hope for the best. All right.
So uh, let's do a uh, quick restart. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so we're back here. By the way, while we are here, there is a random map thing now that you can change your biome. So we could, for example, play a desert map, a randomized desert map, or a randomized normal map, or a jungle map, or a uh, Siberian map now, which is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, I had actually to go back to my Steam account to um, to uh, redo my review of the DLC. Anyways, we're going to be doing the... Uh, excuse me. We're going to be doing the... Uh, the variant map, because uh, it's hard. We'll uh, just um, do that, have a tiny amount of population in here. Started 1960, locked according to year, and everything else is on hard. And then uh, we'll uh, jump into the game. So, here we are. No more uh, industrial zone over here. And I'm going to show you a little, well, a little tip to kind of use the road tool to flatten out the terrain. So instead of doing things like like this, because in the beginning you don't use money for it, you kind of do a road up like that, and then scroll out and use the arch here to flatten out the terrain. It goes a lot quicker, and it is... Um, it covers more terrain, and you can also dig into the terrain, which is nice. So, um, yeah. Oh, gosh, this is going to be a long episode for me to, to record. I kind of would like to at least get to the point today where we are importing uh, new uh, new vehicles to the Republic. Um, so, uh, let me flatten out some terrain. All right, so uh, this is the result after a little bit of the uh, fighting with the terrain. There is a couple more spaces here we could um, give ourselves. So uh, if we look at the um, topographical view here, uh, which already was on, you see we do have a little bit more space here. I also went up here and uh, and flattened out a little bit of the terrain here. So we have a little bit to work on when we get to the expansionary side of things. Probably going to have to go over because I, I think we're going to be removing this road. Um, yeah, so we're going to be... Um, yeah, my plan here is to... Kind of get into the grid. Make it the way we like it, right? So if we do, let's say, something like that. Get you in there. Then you need to be... Coming... Okay, that is not the right one, is it? Not this one. <clears throat> it is... That one doesn't seem right. How did we do this to get it looking nice? This one. Like so. And then we'll have the third one in the middle here. So they're going to go in here, here, and here. Or at least that's kind of the plan. But in the beginning, I think we'll... I, I, I like the highway. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be, um, as I said, removing this road. At least up to here. And we'll make room for a, a proper railroad coming in here. So in the beginning, we're going to be uh, making a little bit of a work camp here. We're just going to be um, dragging the road out to about 
here, and this is where we're going to have our demolition crew and our construction crew. And um, then let's start planning out. Planning out our new city. All right, so the first order of business, we would like to have... A large warehouse to deal with the industry. And I wonder if we put it in like that. Hmm. Now let's have it a little bit to the side. So let's say we. I would like to have it this way. Like so. And then we would like to have at least room for... Actually, we could bring it... Nah, we're probably going to need all this space here. And we're probably going to need some space here for uh, resources. And we're going to need at least room for two of these. Because if you look at that, um, one fabric factory is going to be enough for two clothing factories. So having it this close to the border post, I think, could warrant us having a a double a double trouble situation here. Let's get you. Let's uh, remove some trees here. Let's remove some trees. There we go. So we'll get you to come here, and I kind of would like to align this. Kind of OCD proof ourselves a little bit. So if we get the point of the road tool to reach that line there. Let's see here. So if we did something like that mirror you and then we'll have the road the road tool here or the road tip here kind of meet up with this line here uh, another thing we should do we should do that and that so we don't um, start building stuff we don't need to build and then I guess we'll also have our heating plant somewhere around here and have our city up here. And I know it's not a lot of room, but we uh, we might have to pack them in a little bit. Close, I guess. So you're going to be following this one and we'll get the... So, and you can go up here. And then we should also have room for a factory. If we... We probably would like to have... It's going to be a little bit weird having the water coming in from behind here. Okay. Maybe we could have this a little bit higher up. Maybe something like that. So that means that basically grain and chemicals goes in here, gets hoovered up by this guy here, and they will send back the fabrics in here. And these will hoover up the fabrics and produce clothing and spit the clothing out here. That is... Um, the way, I guess. And then we'll probably also have a road cargo station here. Eventually. And then we would like to have... Let's just get these out first. Let's uh, get you to about here. Get you to about here.
And that should allow them to be kind of semi OCD proof. So we'll remove that one and we'll remove that one and do that. Hmm, is that what we want? Maybe. And we'll remove that one. And here is probably going to be the heating plant. And we're still going to be using a small heating plant. And I have it a little bit close to where the city is going to be. It's basically... It's going to be alright. It's going to be okay. So let's uh, get a small heating plant out here. And do we want to have it this way or that way? Could probably even have it here. If we mirror it, we could also make room for a aggregate storage. So let's say we did something like that. And then we should have everybody be able to go in here with just one bus, right? Yeah, that should be... That should be it. I kind of also wonder if we would like to connect this into... This road here. But that is not, like, the most important thing at the moment. This is just going to be planning our income. Uh, this one. Stop building anything here. Uh, then we have our industrial zone set up. We do want to have a bus stop here. And I do wonder if we would like to have a little bit of a larger bus stop here. Because if we can manage to get this be around 400 and yeah, around 400 meters to the next bus stop we can have all the people go to the bus stop and then have them walk from the bus stop down to here instead of using fuel for buses which probably would be a good idea but eventually i would imagine we will expand our town up here maybe and then we should be um well, then we're going to have to make buses coming down here. Yeah. So uh, let's pause that for a minute and we'll uh, go over our city. I would have loved to have a diagonal road coming in here. Like so. So yeah, this is going to be a diagonal city. Or a town, I guess, would be, um, be the better word for it. So, let's... Um, first of all, let's see. Can we actually get to all of these with one bus stop? Yes. And we'll do something like that. Let me just think here. They come from the right side here. Go in here. Turn in. Go out the right side. So we also need to have the uh, depot here on the... Not the depot, but the... Um, this thing here. The end station. So if we pop you down here. So you come in here. Go in here. Empty the people out, and then you go out here, and then same here, and then back to the city. Now, is this a good idea? I actually am not 100% sure. I'm actually not 100% sure. 
Okay, so we have very little space here. Uh, for now, until we get this road removed. So, I think we'll just put down, like, the very, very basic stuff. Something weird with my mouse pointer. Kind of seems like it doesn't always get the memo when I'm using the scroll wheel. So when I Sometimes when I go down, it kind of pops back up like that. It's very strange. But anyways. We need... In our little town, we need a little shopping center. And if we can get... Ooh, maybe if we get... Maybe if we get the little shopping center... A little bit closer... All right, let me think think about a couple of things here. Okay, here is what we're going to do. I added in a aggregate uh, storage here. We have the bus platform going in here. So the bus is going to come in here, in here, out here, in here, refuel, and then go out here. That is going to be the way we're going to be doing that. Now, we're going to also probably have a vehicle repair shop here. Uh, so we can just attach that to the uh, warehouse here. Then we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have another bus platform somewhere around here. And what we're going to do, we're going to be having you come at least to about, let's see here, where are we? At least to here. So the people are gonna go into the bus stop here. Then they're gonna be, we'll just send all the people down into the bus stop that is gonna come here. And then we'll send a certain percentage going in here. And then we'll have them go from here. 90% or 99% goes in here, and then the other one goes into the factories. So we're going to need to have a bus stop here. And it probably needs to be a fairly big bus stop, I would imagine. So we'll have the... Yeah, we'll have the cultural center here, the town center here. And then we'll have some residentials down here. We're kind of getting a little bit low on space here. So let's get the... Um... Yeah, this probably want to be in a... Can we get you to line up with that? Okay, so let's uh, double check. You are... Because we're going to upgrade this to an asphalt road. 390. So that should be more than enough for them to walk all the way down here. Wait here for an hour and then go to work. That means we have... And remember, this road here is also going to go away. So we're going to be able to expand here eventually. That means we have a road coming down. About here, and then can we get you to... Kind of go out like that. This is not gonna be... Oh, it, it actually works. It's going to have to be a little bit wonky with the roads. Okay, so there we go. So now the road, the bus can go down that way. And it can come in here without any problems whatsoever. 
All right. Then we're going to need to have a shopping center up here. And I think that is going to be uh, somewhat the bigger problem because we're going to need a little bit of room for the shopping center to actually work. Ideally, we will get to a point where, yeah, like this, where we actually... And just utilize the heat from... Have they expanded the range? 120. Hmm, maybe they have. <clears throat> Let me think here for a microsecond and a half. Maybe we actually don't want this. Maybe we'll just want it to go straight in here. Maybe. Actually, you know what? Ideally, we would like to have this further down. And have the residential zone up here when I think about it. So let's see here, how far can we get up? We can get all the way up here, so we could have how many people is it here? Let's also turn this one off. Uh, it's 110, right? This is the most, oh, have they reduced, wasn't this just 70% before, have they reduced this as well? Hmm. Well, we kind of do need the happiness to have productive workers, so um, let's me figure something out here. All right, but just a little uh, progress report. So I decided to go for the standard thing that we do here. Uh, we have four of these uh, medium buildings, which has 85, actually 87% uh, quality of the flats. Uh, it should be room for a little bit of a, um, a uh, one of the new things in here, the uh, kindergartens in here. Yeah, should be just enough room for that. So we can have that in here. We have a shopping center, which is connected to a meat storage, which is connected to a, a warehouse, a tiny one, and we also have a road cargo station. So they can come up here. Uh, deliver meat and then we have uh, I moved the bus up a little bit because I kind of think we could squeeze in one additional uh, little housing complex down here when we get the road removed all right so uh, let me just uh, continue planning out the new area so we have uh, planned out a little bit we have our standard little houses here. Uh, we have a hospital here, or a small clinic, a small kindergarten, and a small school. We have the university up here. We have a little pub. Theoretically, we should go through this in order, so we kind of... No, we have housing, right? We have a um, shopping center here, which is getting meat from here, and food, and all the other stuff from here. And a uh, road cargo station that connects the meat storage and the warehouse to here then we have uh, yeah a little pub here we also have a little house of culture down here we have a um, indoor swimming pool here and the reason why we are using this and not something else is because pool and beach attraction type is going to help us quite a bit so that is that side. Here we have the small clinic, as I said, up here. We have the fire station down here. Um, kindergarten and school up here and university up here. Then we have our little crime area, our crime fighting area up here. Now, theoretically, we could potentially have squeeze this in just a little bit. Like so. I just didn't like the way it kind of overlapped the road here. So, 
if we look at this, we're going to be um, upgrading the footpaths here. And uh, everything here should be within walking range here. So we're going to tell all of these buildings to basically walk down here. And then from here, this also looks very crooked, doesn't it? Yeah, it is definitely crooked. What the... That's not good. So you need to be... Lined here, and we could potentially bring it all the way down here. Oh, no, we need to bring it back up a little bit. At least to here. Because then... We should be able to do something like that. And from here on on, I also had to move this a little bit, uh, and I'll show you why, because everything here is now connected. So, um, yeah, I, I would imagine the doctors are going to have quite a lot of work, because uh, it's not that far away. So if we click from here out to here, that is 300, almost 400 meters. It is a little bit on the shorter side, but if we take you away and let's go to something very awkward with the way the game kind of calculates where the heat is so we can bring it here so if I just bring it straight down here let's see here I'm looking at this number here so this goes to 385. If I go here, it only goes to 300. Don't make me a liar. It only goes to 380. But if we go up here, you see it goes all the way up to 400. So why does it go to 500 here and don't affect these guys? That is kind of my question. So we just want to... There we go. So we'll get you in here. And then have you just merge into this road here. We'll make it uh, a little bit more OCD friendly here. So you come down to this line. And you come straight in there. So now everything in our town should be within range here. And again. By the way, could we potentially... Measure this out to go here and to here without... Let's see here. Because if that is the case... Um, that's 200, 300. We could potentially get away with just having that bust up there. Just to collect all the people here. And then have them go... In here, hmm. So that is twenty nine meters. Three hundred meters. Yeah, maybe we could manage to do this without uh, too much effort here. So let's, let's see. One hundred and fifty-six. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna line this bust up, up a little bit better. Like so. And then have you come down to here. Switch a little bit over. Like that. That's perfect. So you can go in there. You can go in here. So then you should be able to go in here, hopefully. That will cover those two. Now, they're, they're not going to be able to walk here yet. But if we upgrade this to a, to a proper footpath, then we should be able to walk here without too much of a hassle, I would imagine. Now let's also add in a footpath in here. And you're going to go to about here. Don't. And you go in there and there. And you can go straight in here. And you should go right in here. Like so. And you should also be able to go straight up here. And we're also going to need to put in some trash facilities in here. Oh, um. Oh, when I think about this, maybe we should have a, um, a bus route going down here. Because, remember, we uh, also wanted to have a uh, road a vehicle repair station down here. So if we mirror that and have the road come up here. Something like that. Is that going to be... It is doable. It definitely is doable. Okay, let me think a little bit more, and uh, we'll be back with potentially the final, hopefully the final design of the town. All right, so a little bit of a progress report here. Um, I've kind of planned out a little bit of... Um, so this is our construction offices. These are going to be our vehicle uh, depots. This is going to be our demolition office. Uh, storage boxes, uh, we're gonna have one distribution center here for fuel, we're gonna have one here to pick up materials, we're gonna have one here to kinda restock the steel box like we did before, then we're gonna have one here for delivering coal, and then we're gonna have one up um, here to deliver food and meat and all the good stuff into the shopping center. So I kind of think that that is kind of where we're going to be leaving it off for this episode. I, I, I have no idea how long I plan. I did figure out that uh, we can actually, I, I don't know if I said that before, but if we have everybody going to the, um, to the bus stop from here, we should be able to have them walk all the way over here, even to the vehicle repair shop that I think I added in uh, after the last segment. So, uh, so yeah. This is going to be great. It's going to be glorious. And eventually we'll um, uh, remove some of these boxes here and potentially put in... Hmm... And we do this a little bit differently by potentially adding in a road cargo station here, which is here. I mean, it 
would have worked if I were a little bit... Hmm. Maybe not. But yeah, we, we're going to be attaching a road cargo station to this um, um, large warehouse eventually. For now, I think we can just have them go in here and stuff. I think. So the way we're going to do it is by telling... Let's see here. Let's get the other distribution center back in place here so we kind of have an idea. Just plop it down in here. So we'll have basically these uh, go down here and pick up the food and such for the... Um, no, not food. Fabrics for this area here. And this should keep us profitable. I mean, instead of traveling 2,000 meters up to uh, Berusha, we should only be traveling... Uh, Smobikin here, which is uh, significantly shorter, and we're going to be kind of making this into a highway. We'll straighten this out and have it kind of run alongside uh, the um, coastline here. And we'll probably have our sewage outlet here. And since we kind of have done a very nice, good job by flattening all the terrain here, sewage shouldn't be a problem. It should be kind of Flat, I would think. But yeah. So uh, with that, let's find a nice, um, a nice uh, thumbnail for this. Uh, how about? How about something? We can get a lot of this in here. Yeah, something like that, perhaps. Yeah, that could be an interesting thumbnail. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the Great re uh, Reset has uh, started. So, uh, with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And again, sorry for kind of having to reboot the entire uh, project that we have here. But it was basically not feasible. So, uh, Hopefully this is going to be a more profitable and less stressful uh, town. And, um, yeah, again, I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and keep smiling.